Hey guys, welcome back to Red, White, and Bethune. An average American family. I'm Jen. I'm Kyle. And today's video, we want to talk to you guys a little bit about who we are, where we came from, and what we are doing now. So we started out, we got married back in 20, oh gosh. 2008. 2008. Um, and we had one son, Ethan, and we got married and had another son and um, something pretty terrible happened in our lives in 2011. We were on our way to Disney for our son, Ethan's seventh birthday, and he was killed in a car accident. So it shook our world and absolutely turned us upside down. But it taught us to live every moment like it's your last. Now we have Ben, who uh, is now nine. We have Molly, who is six. And our son, Eli, who is almost five. Yeah, guys, it really, it made us really adjust and change the way we live our lives as far as the time we have on this earth. You know, it's very limited. It really changed the way we, we you know, we live our lives, lead our lives, and raise our family. Um, you know, we've lived in a brick and mortar home for all of our lives, you know, 33 for me and she's just behind me a little bit. Um, we've been in RVs for years. Um, we bought our first RV probably seven, eight years ago. Um, you know, fell in love with it. I've been around them my whole life. My brother always had them. Um, a few months back, we kind of made a big decision and decided <laughs> we were going to sell pretty much what we have. You know, and yeah, I was a pet stylist who owned a very successful pet styling spa in the Brandon area. And you know, one day we came back from a camping trip, and this one here was like, "What do you think if we sold everything and traveled the country?" And I was like, "Oh my gosh, you are crazy. We're not doing that." And so every day I would daydream about it. I would be, you know, cutting a dog's hair and daydreaming about being able to live that lifestyle where we can show our kids the beautiful country that we live in and make it our full-time thing. Yeah, I mean, my brother has been our uh, full-time RV for about 10 years, and I, I watch a lot of other full-timers on YouTube, Nomadic Fanatic, um, Less Junk, More Journey, a lot of those folks, you know. And Loftus it's, Party of Six. Yeah, it's, it's increasingly becoming a more acceptable a popular way of life i mean people were tired of the rat race i mean it, it gets old and it's just especially us in florida it, it costs a fortune to live here you know and, and we just we catch ourselves at the end of the day cleaning and just cleaning and trying to find room for all these things that we really don't need and we typically don't even use most of them and not getting to spend enough time with the kids. You know, the kids go to school and then they come home. And by the time they get home, you have homework to do, you have dinner to cook, you have so many things you're doing and you don't even get to spend time with them. Yeah, it's just, it just got to where it was like, it's just, there's got to be more to life than this. I mean, you know, it's, you know, I know everybody said that. Everybody's been there. If it, a lot of people still are there. So we're going to give this a shot. You know, we've, like I said, we've had RVs for years. We, um, we actually just sold our Class A RV. And we bought this thing we're sitting in here a few months ago. Um, I'm actually going to show you some clips and some video uh, about the bus. The man behind the hammer had no way to ever know That the nails that he was driving so many years ago Would have laid the foundation with every single swing for his family Every day he'd head off to work Never knowing his so boss It's got a pretty rich history um, The previous owner was in Lynchburg, Virginia He was a started out as a country music singer and he toured in this bus for about 13 years. Um, he eventually found his way into the ministry and became more of a gospel and kind of got into pastoring and you know he got a little up in, up in age and said you know what I'm, I'm ready to move on and I found this bus a couple months back and 
I thought he was crazy. I was not about this bus life because I knew it would be such a big undertaking. And I was like, no, we can keep the Monaco. We can redo it. It's cool. And he was like, no, trust me, we need a bus. And after he brought it home, I was like, yeah, you were right. Um, we, we did need a bus. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, guys, is this thing started out, it was built to live on the road. I mean, that's what it's, it was designed and built to do. You know, 1983, it was a, it's a 1983 Silver Eagle Model 10. Um, it started its life out as a uh, passenger bus, tour bus. Or I'm really I'm not 100% sure which one it was, but I know it hauled people uh, to some degree. Um, it spent its life doing that for probably about the first 15 years. Then it was converted into a uh, entertainer coach, which is, you know, very common. Music singers, they got room. Like when we bought it, it had, uh, what, it have nine, ten bunks in it. And uh, the crew would, you know, they would live in this thing, essentially. I mean, they would live and, and, and travel, you know, the country in this thing. So, I mean, it's built, it was built to be on the road, you know. And, and I wanted that platform to build our new home on, something I'm confident with that's going to, you know, be able to hold up to the, you know, harshness of everyday living, you know, and it's, it's been a journey, you know, we're kind of, we're going to put out some videos of the renovation once, hopefully we'll be able to do a reveal video here in a couple of weeks on the interior at least. Um, I've worked very hard on the interior as far as, he thought I was crazy, but I wanted to keep it open and airy and light, and so I wanted to do a blue, uh, navy blue, hints of navy blue, and mostly white everywhere, and little accents of gold. And he thought I was crazy for doing gold, but I was like, nope, it is, it's up and coming, it's becoming popular. I pretty much think she's crazy for the white, because like I said, we have three kids, we have a pack of dogs. Six. And I'm wondering how it's going to stay clean. So that's going to be, remain to be seen, but it, it's looking good. I mean, you guys can kind of see, you know, this is, this is our kitchen area. We, I mean, this... Once you see before and after, you will. I mean, it's it's been a labor of love, and we've put a. My brothers helped, you know, Jen and me, and myself. Um, we've done a lot of work. Um, we got a kitchen area here. I mean, it, it's slowly coming together. It's been a, it's been a journey, you know. We've honestly been working almost full time on this thing now for about a little over a month. Well, you know, a few years ago we had a three thousand over three thousand square foot house. And then we sold that and bought our now house, which I thought was our dream home at 1,700 square feet. I completely redesigned the entire inside, and that's 1,700 square feet. And so now we're going from 3,300, 1,700 to roughly a little over 300 square feet, and I couldn't be happier. You know, getting rid of stuff, people are like, how do you get rid of all your stuff? And I'm like, it's cathartic, because you don't realize that you don't need all this crap. Honestly, you collect stuff, you're like a goldfish. You grow to whatever environment that you're in. And it's more for us about making memories instead of collecting belongings. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot, like you said, you just, some of this stuff would become stressful, like you pay all this money for it and you never use it and you're like, oh my God, why did I buy that? You know, and there's it's just a, there's a, there's a sensation or a sense of relief when you try to go minimalist, you know, and it's, definitely new to us like she said we've kind of been as high as you can go and we're you know as far as square footage and then we're kind of coming on down and it's kind of you know we're growing and learning you know what we really need in life to live and it's it's pretty cool but um yeah this bus is, is coming along um our plan is to leave sometime in may or early june hit the road yep. so if you guys would mind subscribing i promise you there's going to be some some journeys and some adventures on the road, you know, or even up till then, we're gonna, like you say, we still got a lot of work to do on this thing, you know, the interior should be wrapping up here in the next couple of weeks, and then we'll move on to the outside. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a labor of love, and it's taken some time. Yeah, it's really shown us patience, because we need to move into the bus in order to do minor cosmetic things to our old house to sell it right. um and so the the interior was our main focus let's get that done so we can at least move into that and things on the exterior and outside you know we can do that after we're we're in this because our, our main goal we got to get out of that house get into this bus and really hit the road yeah so we'd love for you guys to follow us along give us a like um subscribe on Facebook if you would or, or uh, subscribe on YouTube we have a Facebook channel very active Facebook channel it's kind of where we've built our audience um, we have you know a pretty good Facebook channel we, we post a lot of content to it 
you know, but YouTube's kind of become, become, we're going to, you know, vlog our adventure, you know, and see how it goes. You know, it's something we've been dreaming of doing for a long time, and we're, we're going to put it to use. Absolutely, and anybody can do it. You know, people say that you guys are so crazy. How are you doing this? You know, you just got to put a plan together. There's a ton of ways to earn money on the road, honestly. People don't think about it. There's affiliate ships. There's, we have rental properties, and so that's, that's the bulk of our income. There's affiliate ships. There is sponsorships. So many different ways to be able to maintain this lifestyle. And people are like, well, you're too young. And I'm like, yeah, but... YOLO, you know, anything our past has taught us, you really only live once, and you've got to take every day as it comes and enjoy it. Yeah, as we know better than, you know, you know as good as anyone, you know, your life is, you're not guaranteed the next day, so, um, just give us a, give us a chance, and, uh, like I say, keep looking out for some videos, we're gonna, you know, kind of start putting more together, we, we, we've done a lot of, as you can see, our channel's kind of been based on, our local area, Disney. We're real close to Disney. Very big Disney people, and we spend a lot of time on there. So if you give our uh, videos a chance, and uh, we'd like to for you guys to follow us along. Absolutely. Have a good day, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. -bye.